find you uh, coming to my mind. Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 No, 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 no one, I mean, obviously, until they've been uh, accepted onto the, the committee, we've, we've got both Councillor Green and Councillor Bellamy here as well, but there's no one else from the public who's indicated they're going to be here. Mm -hmm. Chair, I, I didn't think I was going to have to leave early, but um, I should be okay to stay for a bit for my and uh, welcome to our young councillor. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening again. <laughs> and welcome to Trevor. Really yeah. not yeah. me to now. Oh. Support me to I'm not I'm um, not officially here. Yeah. All oh, right. We need to yeah, we need to yeah. call up someone. Right. Um Public question time prior to the commencement of the business section, uh, session of the committee, there will be an open session lasting 15 minutes for members of the public to speak to the committee. Mm -hmm. uh, procedural matters, public bodies, admission to meetings are 1960, amended by openness of local government bodies, regulation uh, 2014. Uh, as local parish and town council meeting can be now be recorded, the chairman to check if anybody wishes to record the meeting to ensure reasonable facilities can be provided. No. I'm off with the clerks. Um, the clerk present is already recording the meeting in video to upload uh, to Paris Council YouTube channel. Uh, membership of the Publication and Communication Committee, Councillor Chris Green, became a co opted member of the Council on the 10th of the 10th. 2022, he has expressed an interest in becoming a member of this committee. I've got something further to report from uh, Chair, if that's okay. Yeah. So we've also got Councillor Trevor Bellamy at our meeting on the 5th of September. It was commented that Trevor was willing to join but wasn't actually present at that meeting. Uh, the committee is low on, on numbers, extra members are certainly to be welcomed. And therefore, uh, with further contact from uh, with Councillor Bellamy, he's now present here and offering himself to be a member. Thank you. Can I propose that we accept all councillors to join the committee? Yeah, second that. <coughs> all in favour? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think. There's only two meetings left, you're all right. So, when um, Councillor Chris Green and Councillor Trevor Bellamy uh, are members of the Publication and Communication Committee with immediate effect. Apologies and reasons for that. Since prior to the commencement of the meeting, the clerk will email out. Apologies received and, and reasons for absence. This is to give the members the opportunity to consider reasons before the motion below is voted on. Just a reminder yeah. that Councillor Bastard is also a member of this committee and currently has a dispensation and, and, and that's why he's not in attendance. Apart from that, there are, there are no other apologies to consider and all the members are here. So we don't need to accept his apology because he's already been accepted. Exactly. 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 Yeah. Right. Uh, um, members and officers, personal and disclosed, for junior interest in items on the agenda. Members and officers should disclose any personal 
of junior interest MA had in terms of the agenda. To receive members and officers personal and disclosable pecuniary interest items on the ag uh, agenda. No. Written request for new DPI. Any new DPI dispensations received prior to the meeting will be emailed out to members prior to the commencement of the meeting, subsequently. Uh, to the meeting, these will then be uploaded to the HPPC website. Uh, no new DPI to report. The website is up to date with all the DPIs uh, for all councillors at the moment. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And that's to know. Items on the agenda to be discussed in private. Members are invited to consider if any item needs to be discussed in private session, where this is agreed, the discussion of these items will be uh, redacted from the public video recording, and any member of the public attending the meeting will be asked to wait in another part of the building whilst uh, the item is considered. Yeah, um, yeah. Friday Fraser, yeah, um, yeah. 42 annual awards, yeah. I suggest. Yeah. 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 We do it one of two ways. We can switch it off and just not record it, and then it's about remembering to turn it back on. Yeah. Or um, when Rich uploads it to the uh, HBPC uh, YouTube channel, he'll redact it out. Yeah, fine. But we do, maybe it's a bubble here, we ask him to leave at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Maybe do switch it off to show that we are turning off. Yeah. Yeah. Right, the minutes of the previous committee meeting, the minutes of uh, the publication of the communication standards committee meeting held on 5th of September 2022, numbers 222316 to 222331 inclusive, were approved at the full council meeting on the 11th of the 7th, 2022, and are to be noted. Can we all see them? They can't. They can't be approved. Right, it's the tenth of the tenth. Sorry, that's 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 an an admin error on my part. So it should should read the tenth of October. Tenth of the tenth. <laughs> Chairman of the Publication and Communication Committee to report. You just wrote it? Yeah, just yes. wrote it. Yes. Mm. To note the minutes of the Publication and Communication Standing Committee meeting held on uh, 5th of September. 2022, numbers 222316 to 222316 to 222316 to 222316 to 222316 to YTD budget is expenditure uh, 2022 
to 23 report on the publication of communication projected with it against expenditure 2022 20, report. Could I um, try and report on this, mm. if that's okay? Yeah. yeah, thank you. So, the committee should consider how any build up to the coronation of his majesty King Charles III on Saturday, the 6th of May, might impact the Royal Events budget 4615. There has been a bank holiday declared for Monday the 8th of May. Just also worth noting that the uh, local council elections are still scheduled to be held on Thursday the 4th of May. So, they've been changed to the week after. They have not been, they have been changed to the week after. Have you seen that? Because I, I was only checking the weekend. Um, yeah. I was talking to Richard Newman, the Melbourne councillor, and Kirk Cleaver sent a mail to them saying that everything's been delayed a week. Oh. So we to, can we double check that because it has been. But the elections have been delayed. Yeah, they've been delayed a week. So it'll be Thursday the 11th. Oh. Well, I'll just look it up. Yeah. I think I just looked up local. Mm -hmm. It was the Melbourne Church Mayor told that. You have got that being announced at the National Parliament. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think the uh, councillors as well have been delayed a week ago. Because he's a councillor for Kirkley as well. Yeah. So while, while Rachel's checking that. So the projected budget report anticipates the committee might request that £5,000 of the earmark reserve 336 Royal Events 2022-23 uh, could be drawn down for expenditure in preparation for the coronation. You've also got the special project um, monies that might be something you consider using in the build-up to the coronation. Um, because that's also something the committee needs to plan for. The projected report at the moment, what Richard's done in terms of looking at budgets, <coughs> is he's assumed it will be spent, but bearing in mind the next uh, time you'll have to discuss the spending of that money is for the meeting in March, really we need to be thinking about how we wish it to be spent now. I know Councillor Brooke has raised uh, the prospect of a civic ball for 2023-24. Um, there is no budget for that in 2022-23, certainly. Um, and before deciding a budget for any civic ball 2023-24, I would request that you think about the resources available for organising that, you know, how, how, how that would be managed. Um, other things to just draw your attention to? Um, it may be that when we hear Councillor Hogley talk about uh, the earmark reserve for the viewpoint later, that that is something uh, that you might want to take into account in your budget considerations. And one of the things, uh, Rich, the Deputy Clerk had asked me to ask you is, do you intend to spend all your 2022-23 budget? Do you intend to spend the Royal Events EMR this year, in other words, to go to full council and ask if monies from that can be released? And are you, are, is your thinking that you want the Royal Events EMR to carry on next year, or would you want that money in your um, normal budget rather than as an EMR reserve? So there are several things to think about. Chair, can I ask, given there are so many things to think about, um, could we defer the discussion about budget until we're further through the meeting and have an opportunity just to discuss some of those ideas in practice? That makes sense, yeah. Because yeah. 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 otherwise I think we'll be sort of agreeing yeah. with them and yeah. back and mm -hmm. revisit what we've just agreed. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah. Have we any uh, information from Kirk Lee's uh, principal sorry. authority? Is that what you're uh, well, I was just trying to, I was, right. I, I was Googling this, but there isn't, there doesn't appear to be anything that I can find on Google about like, when a local right. election 2023, so it's obviously not being nationally advised, I'm not saying it's not yeah. true. Kirk Lee's it's just what you're talking about, isn't it? But I think we should work on the basis of assuming it's not, I mean, I mean it doesn't really make any difference. 
Something to do with difference in the levy. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't affect what budget from year would be applied to, does it? It just means the fact that it seems to be around. Yeah. Well, I think it's something what the, from what you told me, it's something that the government said they can't have election before because they can't have a change of party, you know, politics just before a coronation. You've got to have everything in place before, so you've got to do it after. And that's why it's been delayed a week. Well, maybe so, but it's not. It hasn't been formally nationally yeah. announced, and I'd expect there would need to be some sort of national mm -hmm. announcement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so I suggest we just assume it's as it is now, and then see what works with it. Mm -hmm. So, so can I suggest we defer items thirty-nine and forty, which is basically the budget for this year and the budget for spending the budget this year, and then planning the budget for next year until mm -hmm. later on the agenda. Not necessarily the last item, but the item after you are the discussions that affect finance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Oh, yeah. 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 Sticking to 40 then. Should we all reporting? Yeah. yeah. So it's um it's it's as per the minutes. September really. Nominations have been requested from councillors by email by the end of December for consideration. There's a special meeting of the Publications and Communications Committee scheduled prior to the council meeting on Monday the 6th of February. Nominations so far uh, have come from Councillor Greaves and Councillor Colling and it's something I'll remind councillors again that they need to be getting their nominations in for the individual and the group awards. Madam Chair, can I ask the clerk to, uh, I mean, this one to send out a reminder with the deadline date, just in case people are forgot. Thank you. Coronation of His Majesty King Charles III. Happy to report, Chair. Yeah. So the coronation will take place on Saturday, the sixth of May, twenty twenty-three, with a bank holiday to follow on Monday, the eighth of May. Uh, no guidance or instruction has been received by the clerk as yet. Um, I'm anticipating there will be a role for the chairman and vice chairman to to play in. Um, the, the coronation, following on from what happened with the proclamation and so forth um, ju just a couple of months ago. Um, I, suggest, I suggest that this is certainly an item that we'll want on the um, agenda for the 20th of March, but this is, this is what sort of slightly concerns me really, in that the next Publications and Communications full meeting isn't until March, and yet this is coming up in May. Uh, perhaps there is some um, mileage in the committee thinking about um, coming up with a coronation working group or subcommittee that would deal with coronation matters and which any progress can then be noted or approved as necessary at either full council, um, finance and management, all publications in, in communications meetings, if that makes sense. Mm. Um, I mean, I'm intrigued to see what guidance comes out centrally as to what happens with the coronation, because mm. very few people were mm. around or busy organising things, and they love coronation <laughs> so no one really knows, do they? But, um, and the world's moved on. But I think the... Uh, my sense is, it, well, I think anyway, um, is that it would be nice if we did something almost similar to what we did for the Jubilee in terms of facilitating local community events. So with that one, we awarded 10, 100 pound awards to local small community groups and um, organisations. My sense is that sort of that's the kind of informal support of the community, which we could set aside 1,000 pounds for, for example. Then there's likely to be probably some beacon lighting because that always seems to happen yeah. when it goes when the 
as a, a, a royal thing. So I would anticipate that friend Richard Rep will once again organise Rising Beacon, and of course we helped pay towards the restoration of said beacon when it went right down. So it would make sense if we then were happy to support them to again make that the, the beacon in the valley, albeit then there's that whole conversation that we don't need to go into big detail about whether we wanted to buy a, um, a beacon to go on a mosque or not, or whether we assume that somebody, a bit like last time, I think it was, what was it, the um, Institute of Charter Surveyors put a um, pen for the thing on home mosque. But my sense is there will probably be a beacon event, and I think it'd be nice if there's local community events. Um, we are, of course, at the time when just the council is on the verge of changing, or just changing, probably just on the verge of changing, from what you were saying earlier. Um, now, the other, the other thing um, I think, and I, from memory, is further down the agenda, was about the home mosque viewpoint project, and I had a bit of thought about that, um, which is uh, and I'll, well, can I bring that item forward, that thing, yeah, mm -hmm. into this discussion? Because it's, about the, um, it's, it's a bit complicated where this sits on agendas because I've taken something to, I'm taking something to finance management next next week about it because it has funding implications. But the original intention of the Home Moss project was to, and it still is the intention, to have a topograph on top of Home Moss and in that car park so it tells you what you can see and it's a great viewpoint of the valley. Um, I've done some further investigation into costs and if we wanted a bronze um, topograph, which is the recommended material to use in such an exposed place, um, then we're talking about in the region of £10,000 to do that. Mm. <laughs> but my sense is that actually, yes, we could find ways of potentially securing funding in different places and there might be some funding that comes up to support coronation then. Who knows? But, um, but actually, I think, well, what a great opportunity to link that also to the coronation, because then you've got something that's very much long-standing and will be there for hopefully a very, very long time. A lot longer than it is. <laughs> yeah, well, indeed. But, it's, but I mean, it's a key moment in our history of coronation, and it feels like, alongside supporting events, actually, it'd be nice to have something tangible, a physical, a physical something that, that credits the fact that Done so, a bench. Sorry? <laughs> Done a bench. Yeah. Yes, rather than just a bench. Um, not that there's any contentious, but we've got lots of um, and, and it kind of, I mean, the reason I've been so keen on this project is because, what, for years, every time I go up there, I'll say, well, I want to see what I can see. And I like the fact that you look down and you can see yeah. the whole valley from mm -hmm. out before you. Um, so I just wonder whether there's an opportunity to kind of dovetail some of that together. And the time scales of creating such a topograph fits quite neatly with coronation, having investigated the timescales of working with Leander, which is the company that did the plaques that are down, the big plaque for the um, uh, Pacific Hall and the public toilets, so those nice um, cast iron plaques. That company, they say they take, it's about a 12 week lead time um, from when you finalise the design to then producing it. So to my mind, if we were, if full council were to approve sufficient funding to progress with it, then it was instructed in earlier in the year it could then be implemented ready for the coronation. So, so I just want to throw that in there. So, so I suppose from a, a budgetary point of view, I'm kind of thinking we need to, I think it's nice if we can support local community things, like we've like done before with sort of smooth grants. So I, I would suggest we set £1,000 of a budget from somewhere on that. And then I would suggest we probably set aside another £1,000 for um, supporting the Beacon events, which majority will probably be on Cliff Rec. Personally, having been to the Cliff Rec one um, in the, I think it was for the, uh, the Queen's Jubilee, it's, it's a, you know, it's a fabulous place. You can fit loads of people on there. It's very visible. It's really near the middle of Home Firth, and I see no reason why we should have a separate Beacon event somewhere else in the valley. Um, so that would be £2,000, and then I would suggest we, we set aside um, well, so £9,000, since we've nearly got the £1,000 in the budget that we set aside for the Lion Valley um, Home Moss viewpoint, um, which would bring our total to £11,000 that we were putting on coronation. So that was just my uh, views. <laughs> we've had, we've had uh, three monarchs in our lifetime. Can you 
you, George. Yeah, true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, good wisdom. Yeah, yeah. in fact. The tree was up there. Uh, every five year old in a spoon. Yeah. I have the, uh, I have the honour of being at the previous coronation. Wow. <laughs> On a pavement. Where were you? Where were you? Yeah. 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 Um, so can, can I come back on two things uh, yeah. uh, with regard to the beacon? Yeah. The the Holmos site is one of the original sites where the traditional beacons stood, and we have actually got a gas beacon which is in the basement down here. The, the one that uh, the one that was donated by the us. No, no, that's the previous one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, it's, well, it's a brand new one, it's down in the basement. So and those are the old surveyors, you know, yeah. they bought yeah. one to, and they then donated it to us. Yeah, oh, right. so that, that, that belongs to the parish council now, so we're okay with that one. Um, with regard Sorry, to, I I yeah, yeah, with regard to the uh, event when we had the meeting up at Old Moss, yeah. um, I think one Amazing thing about that was the fact that BBC Television rolled up. So we we got a we got a fair amount of coverage yeah. um, as far as Paddy Shout was concerned with regard to uh, having the uh, having the beacon lit up there. Yeah. And uh, the other bit oh I was thinking about the um, the thing on the cab back at the top of us. The, yeah. The mileage thing, you know, yeah. 2,876 miles to uh, Toronto or whatever. And, uh, That's more things you can see. Yes. Yeah. Um, there used to be a nice one up there, right. a beautiful one. Um, but quite some years ago it did vanish. The old thing, yeah. the old thing, yeah. You know, legs and, uh, and walk. I uh, can't remember how long ago, but it certainly seems mm. years, probably 20 years, mm. maybe ago. Um, I wondered about, nice to have something up there, absolutely wonderful. Um, I was wondering about different materials, whether a, whether a massive chunk of stone, which was unbelievably difficult for anybody to move, uh, whether that could be carved, mm. or something of that nature. I'm not saying that would be yeah. feasible, but uh, I just, uh, you know, that's all I was thinking about, was the, uh, if we use some, uh, some valuable metal, if you like. Yeah. That's that can be uh, quite an attraction for the the wrong sort of people with a big truck, would not it? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good. I've seen stone ones that will be. Yeah. It would be so. <coughs> that might be a good idea. Well, we have a stone in the centre of Old Fleet. You can come. Yeah. Can I give you a secret? The uh, what? The, the cinema bridge down in Old Fleet, yeah. where, where the the walls carved with all the different mm -hmm. villages and hamlets around. Uh, the Paris Council were instrumental in that. And set in stone on that monument there, you should have moved so well. <laughs> yeah, uh, I agree with the, the monetary side of it. I think, uh, you know, it falls upon that. Uh, what I'm worried about is doing something up there. I think it's a great idea, that's what we're told. Most people in the air will not get to see something that we do for the king. And I think if we're going to do something for the king, we need to do it more central for people who can come and see it, even if it's just a plaque or um, maybe reading the street. You know, do, I think it's got to be something. I do like that idea, and I think you know, the council should support that anyway, not because it's King Charles. I think it that should be just its own merit. I'll have that big up. Yeah. But I think for King Charles, I think we need to do something more local than mm -hmm. on the outskirts. So, um, exactly what I don't know. I mean, maybe something will come along like you know, the tree plant, tree believe, and stuff like that, something like that. But I think we need to do something more in the Home Valley itself for that purpose. Um, I don't know. I mean, something more put into it is maybe. Meaning a street in Homeforth or a building and calling it, you know, Charles Street or something like that. You know, just all that and then have a plaque saying, you know, we in this street because you know, the coronation. Which will people will then remember that sort of 
Can I speak to you? I realize I spoke more. I just had um, just had a a thought with regard to uh, the Kirkley's input financially, probably, into the celebration of the coronation. Have we any idea what they have or whether whether what money is Kirkley's actually putting into events and whether those events that they're organising include the five smaller town and parish councils. I, I honestly have no idea. Well, I suppose Councillor Davis. Might be worth asking. Well, actually, Councillor Davis, he was not, they've not had a meeting about it yet. Oh. So they were to have a meeting just like we're doing tonight. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because obviously they've not managed to get through. So I think that's, that'll be coming along. But if you remember from the, uh, the Duke of Platinum and all that, carefully didn't really do much. Maybe they'll mind you more because it's a coronation. Mm. I don't know. Did the Kirklees in the speech match organise the Beaker and Castle I think, for the Jubilee? Oh, they did. Yeah, they did. It didn't go very well. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, well, we saw blue lights. Well, the, 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 only, the, other thing, the only other thing I've heard off the top of my head was I'm sure that the King had said that he wanted to yeah. recognise the world and in frugal times at one point. Loads and low key, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turn, yeah. 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 So, I think, yeah. I think we, we haven't got enough information to make absolute decisions, have we? And mm. I think the clerk's suggestion that somebody needs to be nominated or people need to be nominated to make decisions as and when the information comes in, or proposals as and when the information comes in, is a fair practical proposal. The only thing I'd say is we need to make sure there's budgets with which those decisions could be made. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, a, a working group couldn't make those budgetary decisions. Um, but I think if, if we wanted to, to do grant state community groups, we could agree with that in principle. We could do that. I think we, can, we, have the, we don't need to ask for council for that because it's under £5,000. We have that in our. Well, it's good that we've, we've done it before. I think we would still need to ask for permission, wouldn't we? So, yeah. I think we've got that a thousand pounds already. They're marked already, so we'll give it up. It's basically all of this impacts what we need to agree a budget with, I suppose. I mean, I mean, I think the council are going to say like two thousand pounds for. The beak, the beacon, which obviously yeah. that can be an example. Obviously, we have got the second beacon as well now. Uh, we would have to change the plate on it because it says ER yeah. to CR. Yeah. If you think on Jason, it's the D, the ER is detachable. Is it it yeah. yeah. Also, say, well, if you're going to do it, you might as well have the CR on it. Yes, absolutely. So that would yeah. be something yeah. that, we, that, that, that will be an expenditure. It's if you wanted it all. Um, so I can agree two thousand pound, one thousand for the project, you know, hundred pound ten times, and then a thousand pound for the beacon projects. But maybe as, as in, to, to, to get confirmation of what have it as a new principle on that one. Um, but regarding a bigger budget for something what's going to be more of a permanent fixture, I mean we need. We can do something principal, um, but we'll have to go to full council because it would possibly be over five thousand pound. So we have to go to full council. So the obviously December's too early. So we look at February to come to a meeting in February with some sort of firm proposal. So I think we said we're going to have a free meeting to talk about who is champion in that. If we have some sort of result, we might be able to discuss it. That that you, you won't have time because you're talking about having a fairly short meeting to look at who we need to mm. be champions. You, you know, you, you'd have to be looking at something different, I think, if you want to look at that as well. And I, I do think you have to be really clear when you're talking about monies are you talking about things that are coming out of the 2022 23 budget or things that are for your budget that you're going to propose for 23? 
Thank you. The coronation budget itself will be coming out the next year's budget uh, because obviously it will not be in next financial year. Uh, but I think the thousand pound, what we'll do now, we have this budget, uh, this year's budget, because you know, they could be 1000 pounds. But the beacon obviously will, be, will have to be from next year as well because that will be. Well, we've got the special projects budget, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. So we could um, agree now that we wanted to spend that a thousand pounds of our current this year's special projects budget. So it's a thousand pounds, we haven't spent any of it. Yeah. We've got no plans to spend any of it. So we could, um, that could cover the 10, 100 pound mm -hmm. year grants. Yeah. So we've got mm -hmm. that money. Well, so, so, we have so, we can, so we can agree, in print, well, we can agree tonight that we're going to have a grants, um, a small grants process, which will release grants of up to 100 pounds for the age group in line with what we would need. But we would need to, because um, last time we did it, we had people who came in and pitched, didn't we? Yeah. But I mean, we did, did we? I, I think I put most of them off, and they wrote, they wrote letters. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, well we had some people. I remember we had some people coming, but yeah. But, but we had to have a yeah. meeting, didn't we? Yeah. We did, to decide on. Oh, it in March. Mm -hmm. Did you say? I mean, we could do that. It depends on the, the, the 20th of March, so that one could decide. That could make the decision. But, but, we, but we need to advertise the. Well, we could advertise it from January, couldn't we? Well, end of February, maybe, you know, something like that. February to, you see, like, you've got to have your answers, you know, you're requesting by. Well, the clock is within the best time is for you to get it before the March meeting. So, so in terms of turning that into a concrete proposal, I propose that we agree tonight that our special projects budget, a thousand pounds in this year's budget, is made available as small grants in line with the Queen's, in the same, processed in the same manner as the Queen's Jubilee um, small grants. Because if we remember that, you didn't have to be a charity or a community group, you could just be a group of ladies yeah. who were organising street mm. didn't you? Um, and we agree that the clerk can produce the, the form and uh, issue it in, I don't know, the 10th, in January, yeah. um, allowing, in many Czech calendar groups, we allow last time, we six weeks for this one or something. Mm. So issue it in the new year, with decisions made at publications and communications committee in March. Yeah. For award. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Good, yeah. So she. Does anyone want to second that? I'll question second that. And then that's that bit. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just to be concerned with regard to, we don't actually know what Kirkley's are doing. Yeah, but we do know that public finance is very stretched. So yeah. I'm not sure we're going to be. And we also to know that the coronation was officially announced as a low key event. Mm. So whether or not there are special rules are going to come with, I, I, I don't know quite clearly. But it, it could come with restrictions or one sort of another, I would have thought. Um, don't know. But the, I think um, what we've decided to do is what the parish council are going to do is, in, uh, you know. This is the grants for the like, schools or charities or whoever. But that's what we're going to do. It's just to say, like, we'll help you support that. Now, with the beacons, we're just like saying, yeah, we'll help sponsor the beacon event at the uh, Cliff Wreck again and possibly Hall Moss. You know, we'll put some money towards it. But we're, if Kirk, please want to put money towards it as well, that'd be great for the organisers. So that's, we're not stepping on it towards there. But regarding the other bit, I think um, we need to sort of have a principal guide of what we want to think we should be spending as such, but we need to find out exactly what, because like Charles had a theme of tree building, theme of the platinum, there might be a theme what he wants for his coronation, and I think we need, so we know what that is, we need to, then we can work on that idea. 
Well, that will budget will come out of next year's budget, so do we need to see how that tonight, or do we need to see how that? Mm. Well, we, yeah. it, my concern would be that a lot of these things actually it will be too late for next year's budget. No, it's all you know, and, and, and you know the, the proposal you, you've got on on the table is is low key, isn't it? It's about small yeah. events. There will be events because it's a bank holiday. Would yeah. be my thought. You know, it's not gonna yeah. it's not gonna not be marked. Yeah. Can I make a suggestion then that we go to the full council uh, that we put in say ten thousand pound budget for said that we're not gonna spend nowhere near that, but we put it there. Well, in which case, we need to ask the full council to bring forward the earmark reserve to the Royal Events, which is under our pots and pans, which is currently, um, has its current balance, £10,000. Yeah. So I've got £10,000 already set aside. Yeah. Um, ask ask the um, full council to release that so that then we can spend it on the 20th March. And then he would actually just go. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think we need, that was, we need to get the there. Yeah. We need to do it. Do it next week to. Yeah, we, could, we don't want the to work with them. But then, but then effectively, we're saying the reason we want that ten thousand pounds put forward is because we know that there'll be, or we strongly suspect there will be a beacon event um, at Cliff and on Opos and so yeah. on. We anticipate that might cost thousand pounds altogether. The main, and also, we want to be able to have the opportunity over the next few months to investigate into something more permanent, yes. which you say might be maybe more um, And we don't know at this stage what that might be, but we want to have money available to do that, otherwise we'll end up hamstrung because we won't meet until after the opportunity to then ask the council to release yeah. the earmark yeah. reserve. And, if, and ultimately, if we don't spend it, it just goes back into general reserves anyway, so it's not you know it's not lost for the council, but it would be lost for us effectively. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. Yeah. Okay, so so you've got you've got two motions. You were in the middle of voting on that first motion that a thousand pounds from your special project 2022-23 committee be put forward is ten small one hundred pound grants process in the same manner as the Jubilee grants that were done. Uh, earlier this year um, to, to, to be enacted by the clerk so that applications can be considered on the 20th of March. You were sort of mid-motion on that one so far, so you do need to go back to that and, and, and resolve that one one way or the other. And you've now got a second proposal, proposal following that as well, to recommend to full council to release EMR 336, £10,000 from role events uh, so that it is in your budget 4615 ready to be spent on the 20th of March 2023. Yeah. I guess it's whether we want that special project, whether we want to instead leave the special project alone and just move the £10,000. You could do that, yeah. So you can. I think because you haven't really quite voted on that first one, you can still amend it. So, so can, I, can I propose that we ask full council to, um, via the earmark, earmark reserve, that's already in earmark stuff anyway, into our active budget. So from earmark reserve 336 up to our budget line 4615, which is Royal Events, will allow us to offer um, at the moment it's thousand pounds of community grants and then the rest is to be determined but we won't have the flexibility in light of emerging coronation plans. That's what you advice because we just don't know do we no. but if we're suddenly you know you don't want to be in the situation on the 20th of march that it is here to two o'clock in the morning yeah. <laughs> trying to sort things yeah. out um, i think at the moment till we know what's going on we can't 
I mean, I'd be happy to join on because obviously, you know, yeah. I'm the chair. I can imagine Mary might want to be a part of it as well. So, they we need to open that to the full council on uh, if anybody would like to be on a working group. Because there might be other people who are interested in everything else in that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, but to know exactly what we can and can't do. Yeah, well, I'm more thinking it's an opportunity then for the clerk to be able to share information with smaller group of councillors. But but yeah, by all means ask people at full council who wants to be on. I mean the chances are if you're doing the mind but there might be one or two who might say, oh yeah, I won't mind because it's such a prestigious event, they might want to be part of it. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> but sharing the information with you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So sorry, do we need to go on that? Yes, full council. Working group is set up open to all councillors but designed to just Keep up to date with the latest national regime. Yeah. Yes, but the spending of that budget is through this one. Yes. Okay. Thank you. No. 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 Okay. Agreed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a busy meeting tonight, isn't it? Not more than this busy. But can I suggest for Councillor Hogley that uh, your project that you did take to the full council because I think okay. uh, I think it it won't it doesn't want full council support but yeah. um, I'll, I'll investigate the stone carving. Yeah. I think it just uh, deserves full council support. So do you want that to be a recommendation from the committee to go to full council to consider that? Well, council hovers. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that would make. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is going mm -hmm. to recommend the because of the budget implication. Is that the centre's meeting or what? Well, if, if, because FNM considers the budget, and I'm conscious that there might. Well, we'll need to find a budget from somewhere. Can we recommend it to the finance manager to... Yeah, do that, yeah. Then if, if they want to recommend it to the full council, yeah. then that might be easier. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's right. We need to vote on that. Any show of hands? Because if we can do that, Rachel, so I'll give us a shout. Well, do, you know, do you know who did the carving on the bridge? Yes. Who? I don't know what they're doing with this now, to be honest. Oh, right. All right. Uh, <laughs> He was, uh, he was aware that they did it. Oh, right. So, uh, her, uh, her husband was a counselor many moons ago. Sorry. Yeah. The guy at Barnes was, he did, you know, the um, one out of Star Oh, yeah. Oh, if you could find, if you find um, him, him My son in law works for Marshalls and they can throw their machine that pictures stuff. Um, I don't know if that's a declaration of interest, but I, I could certainly consult him about it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be brilliant because yeah. I, I, I just want to understand that the. There was someone from Marshalls who did that. Yeah, yeah. Well, they do it. Yeah, he was involved in the like National Arboretum Memorial. Oh, okay. Well, Marshalls is also being compensated. Um, but artistically, I'm guessing somebody would have to, or geographically, yeah. someone would have yeah. to come up with a plan of what we actually want to put on there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, I, can work, I can work with someone to do that. Well, yeah, I can ask him tonight if it's a sort of oh, thing. Really? Really much, okay. but, yeah, yeah, good. Thank you. Nice. Um, yeah, what's it? 40, 45. <laughs> <laughs> Public writing the role of a parish councillor prior uh, to the May election 2023. Want me to read that? Yeah, so a new parish council is due to be elected in May 2023. It's critical that suitably committed and eligible candidates opt op stand for election or re-election. The parish council has a role in publicising the forthcoming opportunity for el eligible candidates to put themselves forward. The clerk will supply community publications with a once a year tailored article regarding the work of parish council for 2022-23, this will focus on advertising the May 2023 local elections and signposts to residents how, how they might put themselves forward to be parish councillors. Um, Councillor Hobby has supplied possible text to be incorporated in the article. 
and the clerk is to attend a Microsoft Teams election briefing organised by Kirkley's on the 24th of January 2023. The uh, deadline for Tito is tomorrow for the December edition and some of the text will act certainly going to um, advertise the fact that it, you know, there are elections in May next year. I've also been in contact with Haydedge Breeze regarding uh, deadlines and so forth for getting some text to, to, to them. They, um, I think, they would like to count it as a sort of one page advert for which they would charge uh, £120. They're the only one of the local magazines that, that have mentioned the cost. Um, but I, you know, I'm just sort of reporting that, that to you really. Hepworth Focus, I've got deadlines for them, so I, so I know what I need to get text into them, them for basically um, and by the end of November for going into their December one. Uh, Homley Flyer I've not heard back from uh, yet, um, but that's where I am in terms of uh, doing the communication through the local magazines and also where I'm up to with, with uh, Taito. And then whatever text is produced can then go on our website and Facebook page and obviously we are also advertising the current vacancy for co-option for Homley Central indeed. Homley Central indeed. Um, yeah, I was. I, I guess I got a little bit confused as to the two. There's two items, which is this one, and then there's another one which talks about us having a standalone uh, leaflet that goes to the households, which is item 48. Um, and I just wanted to say that the the possible text that I've written was not with a view to that going into all those sites at the moment because it's too long to start. Yeah. I'd written that text anticipating that, that would go into the leaflet that would go to all households. You know, the suggested text mm -hmm. as a perspective of a councillor. Um, so I'm quite happy with the fact that we're having to start with these publications and signposting the fact elections coming up and I think that's, that's great. But I think the um, what we've previously agreed, as in, I don't know, the down resolution 22, 23, 28, which was in our previous meeting, the fact that we agreed that there should be a standalone leaflet that went to all households in the valley and took the opportunity to reflect on the last four years of things that have happened, <coughs> um, including, you know, things like Honley Library and Grant Freedom, and you know, things we've got involved in. Um, and uh, but also really, you know, at least a quarter of it was about saying, look, we need people to stand and, you know, it says the parish council is only as good as the people who are in it and we need more people stepping forward to be part of it. Uh, so I didn't know whether we were going to merge discussion of these two things or whether we, um, I don't know, I'm just finding that. And uh, just for the Hay Edge one, I, I have no issue with us paying to have content in those local newsletters and I think we probably should to go to Ditchley, and we used to pay to go in the Home Valley Review, mm -hmm. we used to pay to go in Taito, and I think it's only right, you know, these, these community publications are preparing like sponsorships, and I see no reason why we should. I mean, I'm sure Judge Baptist is slightly sweeter than Hay Edge, but, um, <laughs> it's, um, but I think we should make a contribution because they're in the end of the day. I think it's only £20 for, for a year, and they. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, they, they check. I don't want to say they change every month, so I'm not sure they do, but it's certainly at least... Not every quarter, please. I think so. Oh, so it's not 120 in addition? It's 120 for the year. Oh, that's fine. Okay, sorry, I thought it was in the yeah. printed. Yeah, two bits of Yeah, um, Councillor Hockley's report was very good. I mean, it was quite encouraging. I thought, oh, well, I want to do that myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, I think that'd be great to go on the website and you know, the Facebook page like that and go to it. Um, that was, it was spot on that. I mean, There's a lot of heartfelt personality in that. I think you did really well on that one. Uh, regarding the Hayden Edge, the money up there really is, does go back into the Hayden Edge community. It's not, it's not, um, it goes to the school yeah. with kids clubs and stuff like that. So it's not like they're making money for themselves. It's for the community. Um, 
Yeah, I'm up there. I'm happy for to get it onto the, as much publicity as we can possibly because so we're sure that we're above board and we're not trying to hide anything. Um, now, regarding, I think, yes, Council of Wheat Spot on, we, we did agree that we're going to distribute leaflet to everybody saying, you know, your council needs you type thing yeah. and saying, you know, your, your boys come and use it. Uh, exact words I don't know, but I think that's something what we've got to encourage people to give them, to, say, you've got the boys come and use it on the council and move forward. Showing that what we've done in four years with the Hodley Library and every other plan. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of things possibly as well. You know, just showing the good things that the council are doing moving forward. Without the council, it wouldn't have moved. So, you know, a bit of self praise in that role, obviously, but I think it needs to be shown to show that, encourage people to come forward. And I think um, a condense of what Council Hopkins has written may be on a leaflet as well. Um, I don't know if you could change it or condense it a bit, but I don't know. I mean, I think it was uh, what she said there was spot on, and I think um, I'd be happy to just, you know, run with that myself personally. I think the leaflets and the magazines, um, I don't think we need to go to the exam. Um, I think that's a bit a waste of money because most people don't read it, don't get it. But I think a leaflet in every letter box, at least we tr attempted to contact everybody. I think it's not that expensive in the grand scheme of things. and. You know, so I propose that we, which we've already agreed that we do the leaflets, but we do go to the said magazines around the community and put an advertisement in there. Uh, put Council Hockley's report on the Facebook page and on the website. And if there's any chance we can condense it, we'll put that on the leaflet somehow, Rachel, if you don't mind. Yeah, well, I wrote it with the view of it going on the leaflet, really. Yeah. Because I think the leaflet will have four pages to actually, there's quite a lot of space with pictures and yeah. But making sure that we've put on this leaflet that what we have done, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. what changes we have done, which is the main one, is the main plan mm. on the library. So you've sort of gone into item 48 while well, getting in here. Yeah. So can I suggest for <laughs> item 45 then, because it was, you know, it, it's quite a wide um, scope in terms of the motion there. So it seems it seems to me you're, you're coming to a point where you might want to consider a motion where some of your publications and publicity money, which is underspent, uh, that, you know, you agree an approximate budget in principle that can go to the community uh, magazines because I'm, I'm yeah. sure you know if I said to Petworth folk just look the you know the, the parish council is, is willing to have it treated as an advert they would I hate I said that that's me year subscription um, it's a good opportunity to say to these other you know yeah can we have a year subscription so for future events you know, so it the parish council the next parish council are being to that getting things across do we need a year subscription if the elections are in six months time and the aim is to publicize the election for the next round i think the aim is not just to about the election i mean that's a key thing but mm. the, the aim was to because we lost the home value review it appears there isn't that mechanism for communicating with the community. So rather mm. than relying on the paper where we used to um, spend how much it was each edition, we're now in a situation where the only way we can get things out is either virtually, which we have to do through Facebook and the website, but physically it's just through these local newsletters. So I suppose there's, I think there's four we're aware of, aren't there? That home bridge one as well. No, we did one of the last year, didn't we? The community champion last year, didn't we? Homebridge. Oh, obviously, the uh, no, Hepworth. Hepworth. Yeah, so there's Hepworth one. There's the Honley Flyer, there's the Hay Edge Breeze, and then there's this, there's definitely one that's Homebridge. Is it called Broadcast Magazine or something? Yeah, right. Yeah, that's yeah. that, that, yeah. that, that yeah. don't seem to get that. I think it still exists, but I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's been. Yeah, we, we got the semi recently. What it does, done, it's gone from a a fancy coloured yeah. exterior yeah. to a rather plain 
uh, exterior bit on poor, poor quality paper. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not quite sure what's happened with that, but it's. <laughs> they threw <laughs> Homebridge Church. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's also the advertising local libraries when they did last elections. We put a poster of them saying on community buildings like the Jubilee Library. The, the, the flyer, you know, the, the A5 leaflet we've done in Microsoft. Yeah. yeah. That's, the same, that's what we did last time as well. Yeah. But. Which will be Home Proof Library, Home Proof Library. So, but if, if we're allowing some budget, wouldn't that, doesn't that already sit in our mm -hmm. publication mm -hmm. service publicity? Yeah. So do we need to have a motion for that, paying money for those? We're agreeing to spend it on these, these, this publicity. Mm -hmm. It depends on how much it's going to cost us for, we need to. It, it, it's within, within what I can authorise anyway. So just leave it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. But I, I'm going to put it down as an action for me there. But I will contact these and, and ask, ask a question. Yeah. Do they want us to treat it as a sub, you know, an advertisement subscription? I mean, worst case, if they all ask for the same as Haydex, then you're looking at five hundred pounds per year, mm -hmm. aren't you? Which, mm -hmm. to be fair, we've got we've got sufficient money for that in our budget because yeah. at the moment we're projected to have spent three thousand two hundred pounds on publication for publicity. And that leaves, and we have six thousand. So even if we spend that five hundred pounds, that would still leave us two thousand three hundred pounds to spend on the leaflet. Yeah. yeah which, from indications that we've one we did your value your voice, which is the most recent one we did, which we made the plan, which was like one A four sheet that we printed on four sides. Mm -hmm. um, that was about two thousand pounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, just one thought came into my head was regarding posters. We could utilise village notice boards, village halls, yeah. this that, the others. If if we could all look at our own uh, look at our own patch well, and, and distribute posters, for instance, to the various places, I'm sure that I'm sure that would be well received, shall we say. Tell people we're here. Yeah. We don't just park benches. I think yeah. can I just comment on the other option the other option is as well that I think if we're if we're happy that we can take the monies for both of those things out of four six ten, which is publication publicity. We do also in our existing budget have four six two five, which is website and media. Um well media can also to my mind include posters. Um, right. and we've got some money left over there. So Personally, I think if we need to print up some posters, because there's always the stuff that comes out of the local government association for that election yeah. as well. So if we wanted to print up some of those to then go up in notice boards, as you say, around in the villages, yeah, yeah. and then we're going to the libraries, mm. that's the money that could be used to do that. Yeah. That's yeah. within our Pubs and Commons budget. Yeah. So, so do we have to approve any of that? Also? No. No, no. So I don't agree on this one. Yeah. Okay. Chair, okay. so. can I suggest that the committee moves on to item 48 and goes back to the other items, seeing as it is connected to what we've just been looking at? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, publicising the work of the Home Valley Parish Council through print media. So, we've already reported about the community uh, publications and also about time in, time out, in, in you've got the October and November editions have been in, included here um, in, in the paper sent out. Um, the A5 leaf, leaflet that Councillor Hogley just referred to, yes, yeah, so work, work should soon commence on, on producing that. Um, and things that were suggested at the last meeting is, yes, there should be an element where it's a, a review of the last four years, but also it's got highlights and examples of the kind of work that was done this year in 2022 in this A5 design. And then the back cover, I would suggest, probably for the um, getting people's interest in standing to, to, to be a councillor. In terms of regarding the researching of design costs, I have been in touch with Hollywood Agency and spoke to them earlier on today. They were. They did promise to get back to me, but they haven't as yet. So I can't give uh, any quotes 
is yet as to what that would cost. But as Councillor Hockley pointed out, when they last worked for us in October 2021 on the referendum, it was £949.20 and then a further £950, £53.95 to get the post office to deliver 15,000 copies. So £2,000 seemed to be um, what that would cost. So um, it's really it's really sort of how, how much editorial control, if you like, do you want over this leaflet? What what should happen next in terms of the process of putting that together and actually having it go out early in, in the new year? Um, I, I was thinking... Um, <laughs> I was the designing it by committee, it was a bit of a nightmare, um, if I'm honest, because I think we still got a bit of the emails didn't. Um, so I would suggest that um, the park and the councils of Birkin, well, effectively the park, and delegate it to finalise the wording in conjunction with the meetings and with a couple of members of the committee. Because, because otherwise we're tied to meeting dates and also it's difficult for lots of people to review things. I think it's important that the chair of the council, I don't know if she runs Catania, Jason, but mm. is included because it's going out on behalf of the parish council. So I would suggest maybe a woman, the chair and vice chair of the um, council, and that chair of Cox and Cons, and myself, uh, could um, review the initial draft, draft maybe, maybe that should go on to the staffing maybe the because that's all chairs of each committee and could that would be a good time to do that on the staffing next staffing meeting possibly or I mean, what was it all after that no. I, I think maybe it doesn't need to go through a committee if you've got a motion this is how it's going to go forward okay but if we need to because you said like we should include the vice chair I was just thinking about it do you want to just keep it in this committee or do you want to take it elsewhere at all? No, we could just keep it. I'll just keep, I'll keep it in this group and then, okay. which might be easier for the client to move okay. forward. And so so the, the, the suggestion is it's yourself, Mary as vice chair, Kath as chair of this committee, Rachel as vice chair of this committee. Those okay. four people are the four LEAs, really. Okay. All better for you, I think, Mary. Oh, that's what I was saying, do we need to keep it? Maybe, maybe, maybe no, we just no. keep it this, within this committee. Yeah. Well, I think it'd be more simple than that. So, and is everyone happy for me to be aided by email? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And this is with a view to it going out in the new year. Yeah. Yeah. So, do we need to approve? Or is this already within your delegated authority to spend the money that you think is in the region of £2,000 on it? I would, I, would, I would prefer there to be a, something specific that says in principle what kind of money you want to put to this. Because it is... I think, yeah, I mean, I'm happy to propose that we use that budget of £2,000 for this purpose of the leaflets. Can I suggest that sorry, I'm just going to read it out of the resolution as opposed to I'm not doing that. Um, there should be money in the publications in terms well, of the budget. Um, yeah, but can, I, can I suggest, given the crisis for everything going up, that we have approve um, mm -hmm. up to two and a half thousand pounds yeah. to be taken from the publications and communication budget lines? Yeah. Printing costs for the bar. Yeah. 
But I'm not late for Tisla Watch because you know we can't play to where uh, they are. So, I mean, you know, you know we will play all from the east and the south, you know, something like that. Just to mention to you know, which, when it comes to the people that they know, which areas they, they can look at that area, I'm in that area, I can go to that ward. Well, you can definitely check them out if you want. You know, but I mean, like, if you're living in that ward, you're like, hey, this, like, hey, they're just still this mix together, you know, just like that. If you could just somehow. Can, can I suggest that anyone who's got views on things that should go in, if you just email. Okay, uh, and then, then you can collate them and then you can do that. Otherwise, we'll end up in here all night. The eight pages is long. Oh, yeah, that's happened. Please, Sophie, you're also in back at 46. 46. Call me from Mario. Yeah. 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 Uh, you gave me a lot to do, Jason. So I'm sorry I couldn't get it out on time with the with the minister that came out. But I did, you know. Yeah. Sorry, I haven't looked at the answer. So yeah. So there's been various communication with Kirklees, um, Homeford Civic Hall Community Trust, and indeed with the sculptor regarding the use of memorial tags and possibility engraving words. So I've included in this uh, report that I've sent out the uh, resolutions from the last meeting and then the actions I've taken since then. Um, my suggestion at this point would be, I'm going to put as an action for myself to chase up the inquiries to Kirklees and if I have no response um, by the if I have no response from them by the end of this month, to communicate with the ward councillors and see if they can, Kirklees ward councillors, see if they can facilitate getting it moving somewhat more quickly. But apart from that, I, I would suggest a working class is now needed to progress this. Again, this is because the next public, pu uh, publications and communications meeting isn't scheduled until the 20th of March. And I would like uh, you to consider delegating decision making to that working party as appropriate. Um, actions will need to include scoping the site as a drill, drill hall and liaising with the artist on a more precise specification so that um, you know, you, you're clear about what you've commissioned the artist to do and then what's, what's produced. Thank you. First thing we need to find out is that label that we have. Uh, I think that's one of the issues into the moment. So that we need to know where it's going before we can decide what's if it's going to be yeah. a round tree or a wall tree. Yeah. Uh, before. Because I noticed it's at the uh, City Court Trust meeting in December uh, for an answer, but. Um, yeah, that, that's definitely why I think you need a working group. Yeah. yeah. So. It was, I sent the letter to Judith in October, it just missed their last meeting actually, which was, I think they had a meeting on Monday the 24th of October, we literally just missed them. It sounds as like if £5,000 is... Exactly, that, but we don't know. Is that including the leads or is that going to be a separate budget? I can only tell you what he's communicating okay, to me. He's going to be £5,000 for the tree, didn't he? He's going to be good. Right. It, it, it's £5,000, so the reasonable estimate of cost, and his response was, yes, it is. Yeah. But, but with that in mind, with the budget, if, if the sculptor is... Um, £5,000, and we thought we probably need to bump that up by £1,000 to cover installation and any commissions. We've got to get planning permission, that's a lot of pounds. Any licenses, so it feels as if we've got a, in the spirit of spending our budgets that we already have, we have a special project line, which has got £1,000 in it. So if we're allowed to bring our earmarked reserves into the special projects, that could cover the COVID tree. Mm. 
because then presumably if Gold Council approved the moving of the five thousand pounds into that budget, then we could um, spend spend it on that project. I think yeah, five thousand pounds would be enough, but because um, I think that's just what you can treat not the ladies uh, the way I read it. I think do you um, how you, don't do we need to leave the budget for the leaves as well? Well, I guess it, there was the whole issue whether we wanted to have leaves, presumably. Yeah. But uh, this is where we need to find out what uh, it's going to, how it's going to be decided with what we are going to do. So, I mean, it's really hard to. Because <clears throat> if it's going to be a walk around tree, you're going to have all, all leaves on it than just a, a walk like type thing, isn't it? Well, I suppose it's then the case if that if we end up with a proposal that's more expensive, the working group can always go and ask for more money from from us when it goes to then how quickly any decision. Can I propose that we ask for seven thousand pounds for that just in case you know, sure then we are we can always give it back, can't we? But we do, we don't need to spend more at least we've got the money up front then trying to go back to the council and um, we could be too late to ask for the money. Right, well, I, think, I think you need to be really specific. So we've talked about £5,000 from the EMR, the £1,000 that's already in the yeah. um, special... So are you talking about rec uh, recommending to full council that they also release £1,000 from general reserves? I don't think we've got the evidence to prove that we need that. The, the, lease, the lease for individual people to put a memorial for their people who died during COVID now, what was the purpose of the lease? Well, this is the thing, isn't it? We agreed that. Because I would, personally, I would say if that is the case, then, then the people who are putting the individual memorial on would be contributing to the cost of the lease. Because if we, if we, if we, if we, can we? Yeah, but if we say we're going to pay for them, We've no idea how many we're going to have to pay for. No, the reason why I said put a bit more in is because depending on where we go, is how much it's going to cost us to site it and get permission and all that. I just don't want to be on the budget for that. And if the council wants to put some of these on themselves, mm -hmm. at least we've got a budget to do it up front down afterwards. If then we're open to the members of the public to put their own leaves on. Mm -hmm. but that, that said, we've still got. We still have the opportunity though to give them a project. I know they did ask for it by the end of March, but there'll still be the opportunity at the council in February if we by that stage, because we wouldn't have paid for everything by then. If we needed more money because we found that what was being designed. I don't know, it's just best to have it all from then give it back if we haven't got you know, if we haven't spent it because we didn't need that much. Well let's be honest, we need to need a few people to sit down and really work through what it's going to look like because could, I mean yeah you're right in that it's driven by the site but until a working party agrees what the site is yeah then we're never going to be able to go forward so I don't feel we've got a very robust case to ask for more money that's all. I oh, know no, this is what the, my issue is though we need to know but the time frame I'm giving is not great I mean, is I, 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 I have to say I felt really stressed about this sorry because I feel like I'm sort of a conduit yeah. and it needs this working group yeah. because you know you've just said about the leads that did not occur to me it is a question I could have asked but it wasn't discussed in the last meeting and it did not occur to me this is why you need a working group to take this forward could because you know, at yeah. the moment you're sort of channeling all these things through me and I'm, I'm not clear enough about the specification yeah. Quite taken. I mean, I feel I should be on this committee anyway, I mean, on the working group, because it was my idea, so... <laughs> I'd be happy to be on the working group. But, yeah, I, we installed a memorial bench for the job within the last 12 months. It took a long time to do, and the hardest bit was getting a location to put it. And then when you find a lot, when you do get permission for a location, the location may well have their own restrictions on what they want it to look like. Mm -hmm. So the, the priority would be finding someone who's happy to put it there. And I know we've tried a, a 
laptop or this way, this way, this one's just this is where it is. Well, I can I can chase up her, please, and I think again the working group can. I know Judith has said that there would be people who would be happy to be part of that working group, including her. All right. So that would help with taking it forward. I think I think you know you've got most chance of success and getting this done um, within the time frame you you set if you focus your efforts on the civic because where it's the planning yeah, council building yeah, anyway yeah. obviously the trust is going to want to work with you on it yeah. whereas you know seeing as at this stage i've not even got a response from uh, kirkley's regarding home sites and memorial gardens or any other place it, it becomes more complicated mm. i mean the, the home site would be nice because there's like the the flood memorial thing is over there, isn't it? So it kind of ties in. But, yeah. but my experience from the bench is you just end up going with what work, where you get permission to put it. Mm -hmm. I think it does, if we could get the city plan, it does make more sense because it is a home of the parish, mm -hmm. but it's a parish led project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, the Jubilee is quite positive about it. That I mean, I think we're sort of sitting there getting the location already maybe we need to talk with you to to see the design for the part you know the civic hall what's best but we can do that ourselves maybe mm -hmm. would you give me or me and Chris or would you say what we're making or something like that no just, I'm not going to do Chris just uh, lays me making say well this is where we're thinking of going what, what's the best we can do for the Fly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we can move forward then, can't we? What, what is it you're asking me to do, Jason? Um, I'll get in touch with Vic. Right. Uh, as I said, we'll let Judith do what she needs to do. I'll have a moment to say that we're looking at the Civic Hall as a serious contender. Give, give us a pick, you know, what we want. Is what, what you know, recommend for the Civic Hall. Because if you have an idea what will fit in the Civic Hall, then we can take that to when Judith. As an elite, we can say this is what we do. I think that's the best. Right. So, so, so you've got two two motions you're looking at at the moment. One is to do with the the, the, the budget and recommending to full council that the EMR has moved into the spendable budget and um, combined with the. £1,000 you've already got in, in the special budget. And then you were talking about this other £1,000, Jason. Again, come back to. Built, um, we won't need planning permission if it's in our ground because it's. So I don't think we, we, we just need permission of the uh, trustee yeah. downstairs. So that won't come in issue. We don't need that money then for that. So I think we go back to the council holidays original figure of £5,000. Yeah, with the one yeah, that yeah. special if, if it does case of the count of the civic hall, then we'll review the situation. But I think if we're looking at the civic hall, that's what we need. But we do need to consider then the leaves. But I can, we'll 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 I think because this is a listed building, you would. You do, you would with the council, it would be with the, not the curriculum, it would be with the um, heritage board, too. No, that's the same as that. Mm. So this is a listed buildings officer, wouldn't you? Yeah, we would get the heritage council. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, so I think by, I'm hoping that would be City Court. I mean, when I spoke to Judith and Mick at the um, art gallery, they were quite interested in having a walk around tree. Mm -hmm. So, provided it can be put somewhere where people can walk down it. This area was the drill hall, wasn't that? A bit yeah. on the left, as you go. Yes. About where it was then. Where are we? I just don't know where there is that you've, that you've done the map. Mm -hmm. That's what I just. I just you've got a place next to the flags. No, but the flags on the right, not the left. Yeah. 
Does it yet got a place next to the flag? Is it not? That's yeah, not. That's not what Judith's suggesting, though. No. Well, she's suggesting the other end, is she? Yeah. Uh, but, but if we're having a working party, the working party can. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. don't visit the site. We've got that. Yeah. 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 Right. So. So you've got the motion about the money then, are you, are you going to take that to a, a vote now? So recommending to full council that the EMR of £5,000 is moved into spendable budget and added to the £1,000 you still got in the special budget. Yeah. So a total of £6,000 for this project. Yeah. 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 yeah, okay. And then this working group, um, Jason, Chris, to work with people from um, the Civic Trust as well. Yeah, we well, I'll be seeing Judy from the 4th of December anyway, but I'll work with her. Right, okay, so do you want to have that? Is it is a motion where you're resolved to create this working group and that you're going to delegate responsibility for design, situation, and so on to that group? Yeah, I think it, we need to work with the artist really, don't we? I mean, he's going to be the, uh, he's going to be basically telling what he can do. Is full, has full council had any, I can't remember, role in agreeing to it? I know obviously it's going to have to move the amount of reserves, but my sense is it would be sensible with the amount of motion to move it. I think there'd be an expectation that members of full council would know roughly what it looks like and ideally where it's going to go. I mean, I suppose with the full council, they, they, we could talk about what it's for and what, <coughs> what the ideas are about. And if anybody wants to join the working committee on that as well, I suppose we could offer it. An invitation? Yeah, just a thought on that, I'm thinking about uh, Geddes. Um, I'm sure he'd be happy to come down and give a yeah. 10 minutes worth of demonstration. Possibly a projection on what he envisages doing. Yeah, I think that's yeah. a good idea. That might be a good idea, actually, yeah. Well, yeah. If possible. Our meeting will get dominated by Or you could just yeah. email us a sketch as to what he's doing. Yeah. Well, he's already done that. Yeah. I think yeah. that's yeah. the thing. Because yeah. where we are with the project, I know the project sort of looks like they're treading water because we're, because in, in effect, we've been shown two, like a 3D one or a flat one. Yeah. Right. So then, until the location is determined, we can't determine which is the best. But our one. favourite choice is we get the Civic here to say, yeah, look, have a walk around one for them to point out where the location is. And we'll go with that. And then, if you can't get that, then we, then we have to look at the wall mounted one and get in the heritage plan. There's no reason why we can't get the working group. Yeah, there is, because. Would commission it? Would you get in the? No, I mean, as in, you could come with us, you know, when we do it, you could be back, you could come to the room and talk to us about it, what he wants. Yeah. Well, um, I, I, I suspect, having seen his work, he'll be able to do a work for whatever space you've got. Yeah. And we're, we're yeah. commissioning him to do the work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, okay. done, he's done a heck of a lot of work for his council over the years. To be fair, it always seems to be quite amenable. Mm, I don't know. But the, I think the change, to yeah. You want it to look like? Yes, yes. Well, first thing we need to know what we're. <laughs> I think before we yeah. get designs. <laughs> still struggling to see how it could go in front of the door. But, uh... just, uh, just one more thing, not, not that it's relevant particularly at this stage, but the other Judith, the other Phillips, with regard to the, uh, the Lord of Hospital, um, did you say there's another meeting coming up in December? I've not tried to no. contact that group. I, no. I was referring to the, oh, the um, Civic. Yeah. Judith Patrick. Yeah. Okay. The, uh, the story is uh, that uh, Judith Roberts contacted me a few weeks ago asking if I would go on the group uh, with regard to the, uh, the grounds and the hospital site. Uh, which I said I would, but they haven't done any meetings since. But if it, if it turned out that for whatever reason, for whatever that disa disaster that occurred, that, we, will, that we were looking that far down the road, mm. um, <coughs> at least that may have some... Well, that would be a, a good yeah. site. We've got a lot of space. There. But we did reach and see that site, didn't we? Yeah. Well, we just mm. get permission for it. Mm. Well, I mean, 
obviously if we can get the super cool and we can run with it mm. with the time scale, I think we've got to move forward. Mm. Can I can I just quickly oh, throw one final thought in there, sorry about mm. the COVID tree, is that I'm sure when we first talked about it, it was as much about celebrating what um how well the community pulled it together rather than it being a memorial of the people who died. So I just I just caution that with the tags. I think, it's I think, I think we talked about yes exactly. So because it just reminded me that the notes there were notes about the uh, having words like neighbourliness, mutual aid, community that sort of thing. And there was because because I think what we wanted to celebrate or commemorate was the fact that community pulled together and looked after each other rather than it's very sad that these people all died. Yeah, it because it's a slightly it's a slightly different, it's a different thing. thing. So yeah. are you saying no tags? I mean, I'm not. Yeah, all, the, all those tags are about positive things that people ah, did, rather, yeah, rather yeah, than yeah. the names yeah. of people. Right. I think you've just seen like people. So, in that case, you do know how many tags you need, don't you? Yeah, potentially. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, that's why I think the word community could yeah. sit down yeah. and yeah. You know, brainstorm all the different things that you wanted yeah. it to cover. Yeah. I, I just raised that because I know it's evolved over the months, but yeah. I, I think so rather than it being like a gravestone yeah. of people. So, I'd misunderstood that. Yeah, because it's, the thing is, you see, everyone's going to say, well, yeah, the NHS, but there's all the other hidden people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The postman, the uh, delivery guys, the, you know, the, the people who did stuff without praise, and mm -hmm. it's not naming them, but just saying thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so the working yeah. group just needs to make sure it's clear on what it's trying to achieve in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Celebrating yeah. community spirit, what, what 2020 and 2021 brought. So, from if what you're saying is right, he, he may well have priced that in to his five thousand pound design. Yeah. Yeah. But we need to check on the one. Yeah. 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 Right. Can yeah. I suggest on the last section, just to move forward, that um, I put a thing on the website saying Happy Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. to um, Richie's post about the uh, about Lieutenant Tom Burkehead being oh, yeah, yeah, added. Right, yeah. It was really mm -hmm. lovely. And also, Rich just wanted me to mention the uh, post about conservation area that had 7,000 views and 1,700 positive engagements and a lot of people followed the link or liked or whatever. So again, yeah, really yeah. very, very yeah. positive. And just to flag up what will be coming out shortly is the images from the tree planting that's been part of the Queen's Jubilee project because I've been planting trees for the councils last week, this week and next week. So there's some lovely pictures, a lot of people are sitting in commissions of the kids digging holes and planting trees. And there's nice plaques and posters, there's a whole raft of pictures that can be put on. Oh, yeah, do, you, do you just want to, to give people a chance to, to vote that they're happy to continue the meeting? Yeah, I think it's up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, can we try and finish by half past? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Budget. Mm -hmm. We've pretty much allocated everything within this year's budget now, haven't we? Yeah. 
Yeah, from every line you mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> Det er klart, at du mennesker har været der. Er det hvor vi befaler til mig, hvor vi ser på, og hvor vi ser på? Så er det bare at gå i bakken, så er det bare at gå i Then um, royal events, we've um, done, like, have it in heaps, we've removed some of them, we've just moved some of the royal events. I mean, there's not going to be any big royal events, are there, after the coronation? No. no. So, we don't need to have any in there, except it would be nice to have what's left over from, if there is any left over from previous things. I think we know these are parts of Palmyra. Or just in case it then okay. not right. so I think we should take it back up to yeah, the maybe that, yeah, that. Yeah. And then one one proposal I have well, for the Tiger Trader Awards, rather than have it's hundred pounds, I wondered if given we've got this other award category that we discussed um, earlier, whether we should actually have a um, up to three hundred pounds um, budget line for that. To allow us also to be a bit more flexible because one of the things which I'm conscious I probably should have made sure was on tonight's agenda but wasn't um, was that there's a proposal that we considered at finance and management about potentially combining the role of this committee with the climate emergency committee because mm -hmm. there's a lot of it's about communications um, and one thing that I think would be quite nice to do if we did decide to combine the two is to have say some sort of green award about sorts of businesses or organisations that were doing things that were um, good for the environment. So I feel just in order to retain that flexibility around potentially developing new awards if we wish to, I think the Tidy Trade Awards could be renamed awards and be increased to say £300, which would give us a bit more um, room for doing things in the future. Um, that's my nice gesture. And then I thought the special projects budget should probably stay as a thousand pounds just to, we don't know what comes up, it might be a, I don't know, it's already auction next year and suddenly we want to get funding for something or whatever. Um, and I think if there was a desire to have a civic ball or dinner, um, in this bit, it's not my bag, but I know lots of people enjoy them, um, then that should probably have a line item of its own, which could be civic events. A civic event. Yeah, I think the, um, yeah, just to explain to those councillors, the idea was uh, Councillor Poxton asked me why I've not been long and just said we don't have a budget for, to cover the cost, even though you can end up getting money back for ticket sales and all that, you just don't have the money up front. So the idea is, if a chair would like to do that, you know, the money 
for them to cut the cost by room hire and deposits. Yeah. So it's not like it's a it's a budget, but the budget will come back to cover the cost. I think that that needs to be explained to councillors about that. It's not a <coughs> it's just to help get it created, but the money will be coming back each time we do it yeah. through ticket sales. Um, regarding the community champion, I think after last year's event, I think we should have picked at least 300 because there was all, we had nine last year, if you remember, and we, we always spent, I mean, this year, obviously, we've only got two, but I think for this year, just to, with prices and everything coming up as well again, with the trophies, I think just a bit of security, maybe another £50 on the top, just to. Three hundred would be needed champions and three hundred for other rewards. Thanks for But again, yeah, uh, taking the pub uh, publicity down to five, I think that makes sense. We've, we've just got that covered just in case. Um, yes, at the media, we have to re rely on Clark and the deputy Clark, apostles and that. And special projects again, yeah, five hundred pounds, I think that makes sense. If anything comes up, we've got something there. But yeah, the, the uh, chair, as Councillor Hunt said about the chair symbol, so that should have its own category because it's money that will come back into the council. It's just what well, that needs to explain to what it is about. Um, obviously, homeless viewpoint, um, I think we discussed that already. That Rachel's going to go to finance management and see if we do it further. Royal events, that's Oh, yeah, yeah, so I think, yeah, I think we're quite excited about it. So, the role of events, because it's the, yeah, so are, are you, that would then go back down to 5,000, is, yeah. is that right? Okay. And need, yeah. So we need an email to get us 5,000 back. Or, or, or we could zero it. I, I, yeah. We could just zero it. In history, what we don't want to do, we've kept a thousand pounds for a lot of events. It is only because um, we need plus income, we need Yeah, but we've, if we've got a thousand pounds in our budget, then there's no particular, we're not, we should only really earmark stuff for things that we're not yeah, so having. Unless I suggest that we just put a thousand pounds back into it. If, if there's anything left, you know, obviously that will go on top of it, but I think we just take it to a thousand pounds. From the other 23, 24 budget. Yeah. Well, I said for the 23 24 budget, we should have a yes, thousand pounds in budget for small yeah. events. But for um, the earmark reserve, I think we should reserve the rest of it to um, general reserves. General reserves, yeah, because yeah. we haven't got a clearly defined because you're only supposed to put things in earmark reserves if you've got a clearly defined well, name of what you do with it. The combination seems to be what we're thinking of, isn't it? I know, but we've already put that on our budget, yeah. so we don't need it in earmark reserves. Yeah, true, yeah. So I'm re reducing that to naught. Yeah. So home loss, home loss viewpoint naught for earmark reserve. Roll events naught for earmark reserve. Covid memorial again. That should be resolved and spent. So back to naught for earmark reserve. Yeah. Get the bill on. Okay. So um, all I've got at the moment then is. £300 for community champions, yeah. £5,000 for publications and publicity, yeah. £1,000 for role events, £300 for other awards, going to be renamed, yeah. um, £1,000 for the website media, £1,000 for special projects, £300 for civic events. Is that correct? I think it's got to be a problem. Because I know I remember at the deposit service place about 240 quid. <laughs> You'd be losing straight away. Mm -hmm. And that was when I did six years ago. So I make that £9,600 total budget. Would someone would like to yeah, check my yeah, maths? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay. And did you want to get media? Get rid of media from website media, you're asking that question. Because um, I want my spend on the website. Yeah, well, uh, as you can see, we've sort of 
there, there is some spending on it, but there's some left. But I mean, it could be reduced. I put that as a guide because either me or Richard. I was, just, I, was, I, was, I was raising your query. What you're not sure what the mini department is is intended to refer to. Well, because we've already covered uh, print media and so forth in terms of publications in publicity, so it's, you know, we were sort of having a debate, what's the difference? Didn't it include, um, in years gone past, this whole um, thing about filming and mm -hmm. having a screen and there was lots of stuff that we explored and I think it's um, mm -hmm. Various reasons that because we have needed because we're back to in-person meetings. Yeah, so. and I think that's partly why we left it at thousand because it's all left the new council. Yeah, I think some flexibility. Because there's that opportunity of you know, streaming live yeah. meetings or having people yeah. hybrid yeah. meetings, yeah. which we started looking at, and then from now we've got to you've answered that. the question. Yeah. What media yeah. stands yeah. for? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay. So, can I propose we approve yeah. that? Yeah, so I recommend that to finance management, I suppose. Yeah. 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 Just, just to uh, item 50, um, there are still updates that need to be made to the um, website, for which I apologise, I've not been to them yet. I'm just delaying because I just want to give Rich the scope to finish the budget before I ask him to do anything further on the yeah. website. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's uh, school Christmas card competition, winning entry. Printed, you've seen the cards, haven't you? So that's all, all in hand. You've got all the other ones. All the fish is in there, are they? That's all the other ones as well, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I haven't yet got round to refreshing the Home for Public Toilets Notice Board. It is on my list. Oh, it will get there eventually. I cannot promise or refuse to put a date on it. But for publicity, can we obviously run the brand and go for the Savage Trail Awards? Um, I was special. I didn't wish everybody a happy Christmas and a safe new year. Was there anything else on that? Yeah, that. Was there anything on the screen? Just a clean jubilee stuff. I don't think, I was in that item, maybe we should just have as a delegate to the clerk, the deputy clerk, on the basis of things that have recently happened. Yeah. Well, it's a basket of every meeting. Sorry? Well, I meant it's a basket of every meeting, is it? Yeah, well, I just think because the clerk, the deputy clerk, and the Overview of all the different committees because we don't want to sit on all the committees, so we don't necessarily know what the committees are. So I don't know, I'm just suggesting to do that. Yeah. At the moment, it's a standing item for every single committee, so I know, well, I it, just, yeah, I just wonder if that, I mean, it doesn't really work because <laughs> it still relies on the individuals to do it. Um, no, so. Are you closing the meeting? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs>